Let's do some more practice with expanded octets. So I have six compounds up here just to help you get comfortable and familiar. Um, honestly, a lot of this is just practice and experience. You'll start to see really quick those expanded octets. So quick review, you always ask yourself, number one, can I do a regular octet just sharing electrons? If you can't, then you go to step two, can I do a coordinate covalent bond to try and maintain the octet where the central atom shares two electrons to create the bond? The substituent atom that attaches doesn't have to share any electrons. And if you can't do that, then number three, you expand. Remember, you only expand if um, the central atom is in period three or greater. Only the central atom expands. The substituent atoms, the atoms attached, won't expand. Um, and the central atom can only expand to a 10 or a 12. Okay, let's get started. So we have um, a silicon, pentafluor silicon pentafluoride. It's an ion, minus one charge there, so I can add an electron anywhere. Go ahead and put silicon in the center. Um, so silicon has four valence electrons. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, if I have four valence electrons, I need to share an electron with each of the five fluorines. Um, well, there's five fluorines. I actually don't even have enough electrons to share with the five fluorines. Um, so if we added this electron to the silicon, that would give it five valence electrons, share one with each of the five fluorines, great. But I can tell that's going to expand. It'll give us a 10. I'll show it to you. Um, so I'm not seeing any way to just do regular sharing uh, to get an octet. And fluorine can't do a current covalent bond. Um, the most common ones to do current covalent bonds are going to be our, our um, sulfur and our oxygen because they only need two electrons. Sulfur needs one electron. If I shared two electrons with one fluorine, it would move it from seven to nine, and that wouldn't be an octet. So there's my thought process going through the steps. Regular octet, current covalent, no, it got to expand. So each fluorine needs one electron. I'm just going to give the fluorine what it needs because the atoms that attach, those substituent atoms, always have an octet. So let's give one, um, one electron to each of the fluorines. So silicon, four valence electrons, is going to have um, a single bond to each of the four fluorines, but I have a fifth fluorine. I'm going to take that last electron, pretend that it's right there, I'm going to put it there, I choose to put it there, and it is going to share with that last fluorine. Then I go back, add all of the lone pairs. Remember, each fluorine had seven valence electrons, shared one electron, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the seven valence electrons. Each fluorine senses two, four, six, eight, a full octet. Now, if you look at the silicon, it senses two, four, six, eight, ten. And great notice, silicon is in period three, so it can expand. Now, it is an ion, so you put that in brackets with the minus sign. Okay, our phosphorus has five valence electrons. Um, so if I share with each of the five fluorine, oops, sorry, there we go. If we share with each of the five fluorine, um, I can see that this is going to expand. Um, I can't just do a regular sharing of, a, of electrons to keep that, that phosphorus at eight. So then I say, well, is there a coordinate covalent? And the answer is no. Fluorine has seven valence electrons. If we add two electrons, it puts it at nine, which means that phosphorus is just going to have to expand. So we put phosphorus as our central atom. Um, I'm going to give each fluorine what it needs to have an octet. So every fluorine needs one electron. So we're going to have one electron share with each of the five fluorine. So the five valence electrons each shared with the five fluorine, and then each fluorine had seven valence electrons, shared one electron um, in that bond right there. And so it senses, each fluorine senses two, four, six, eight. Be sure to put all of those lone pairs. You always put the lone pairs. Oops, sorry. And if I check the phosphorus, it senses two, four, six, eight, ten. So it expanded to ten. And phosphorus is also in the third period. It can expand. So we're good to go. All right, let's look at the chlorine trifluoride. Chlorine's also in period three. Um, chlorine has seven valence electrons. Really, to do a perfect octet, it only has one bond, can only share one electron. But I've got three fluorines, so I know I can't do regular octet. So then I say, well, can I do coordinate covalent? The answer is no. 
effects of fluorine will do current covalent because it has seven valence electrons. If it's shared two, it'd bump it to nine. That's not an octet, which means we're just going to have to expand. So I put the chlorine in the center, uh, my central atom. Now I just give the fluorines, the atoms attached, those substituent atoms, I give them what they need. They each need one electron. So I'm going to share one electron with each fluorine atom. Um, let's go ahead and put our lone pairs. So each fluorine is going to sense two, four, six, eight. So the fluorines are good. Now let's look at the chlorine. Chlorine has seven valence electrons. So it shared one, two, three, which is going to leave four, five, six, seven. It's going to have two lone pairs on that. Um, and let's check the chlorine. The chlorine is going to sense two, four, six, eight, ten. It expanded to an octet of ten. Okay, nice. Let's do a couple more. Xenon difluoride. So xenon has uh, eight valence electrons. No way that I can share with that to maintain an octet when I have two fluorines. So I can't do regular octet. And they say, well, can I do a coordinate covalent bond? The answer is no, because I'm using fluorine. Our, our halogens can't do coordinate covalent bonds. It gives them one too many electrons, which means we're going to have to expand. So I do xenon in the center. Um, I'm going to give the fluorines what they need. They each need one electron. So fluorine and fluorine, put the three long pairs for each one. Seven valence electrons, shared one electron. That's why we have those three long pairs, the six electrons around it. So we count two, four, six, eight. This fluorine, two, four, six, eight. Let's check out the xenon. So xenon has eight valence electrons. It shared one, two. Then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So xenon will have three lone pairs around it. And let's go ahead and check the xenon. The xenon will sense two, four, six, eight, ten. So that expanded to a ten. Okay, um, silicon hexafluoride, and there is a minus two. So again, silicon has four valence electrons, and we have to share six electrons with those, uh, one each with the six fluorines. Well, with only four valence electrons, there aren't even enough electrons to share, except for, check it out, minus two. That means that we can put those two electrons on the silicon to share with the fluorine. So no way we can do a regular octet, have too many fluorine. Fluorine can't do a coordinate covalent bond. We're going to have to expand. So my silicon, period three, great. I know it can expand. We are going to share uh, one electron with each fluoride ion. Um, so there's the four valence electrons, but then that minus two, I'm going to uh, put those electrons right, right here. And so we can share one electron with each of those fluorines. Then each fluorine, remember, gets its three lone pairs because each fluorine has seven valence electrons. It shared one electron with the silicon. So each fluorine is going to sense two, four, six, eight. The silicon senses two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. They can expand, central atoms can expand to a 10 or a 12. Now this is an ion, so let's put it in brackets with our minus two. Okay, last one, one more to practice. We've got bromine. Bromine has seven valence electrons, and I need to attach five fluorine. Really to do a regular octet, bromine can only share with one atom, so no way we can do a regular octet. I say, hey, can we do a coordinate covalent? The answer is no, because fluorine can't do coordinate covalent. It already has seven valence electrons. If it shared two from a central atom, puts it at nine, not an octet. We're going to have to expand. And bromine is in period four, and so it can expand. Remember, three or greater can expand. Um, so we're going to share um, one electron with each of those fluorines. We just give the substituents what they need. So we're going to share one electron with each of the five fluorines. Each fluorine has seven valence electrons. So we go ahead and put the three lone pairs around it um, because it shared one electron. Each fluorine looks great. We've got two, four, six, eight. Now, the bromine. Um, bromine has seven valence electrons. So it shared one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. It has one lone pair. Um, at this point, let's count the bromine. 
The bromine senses 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. It expanded to 12. And that's great. 10 or 12. 12 is the max that it can expand to. So there you have it. Hope that that's helpful in getting you going with expanded octets. Have a wonderful day.